Hello friends, uh, in my previous tutorial I had explained what is a memory profiler, what are the uses of it, why should we go for memory profiler when we are developing an application and also I explained uh, various categories of memory which will be occupied in our heap. Uh, so today let's move on to our uh, today's session. So and by the way this is Dimple here. Uh, welcome you all to my today's session. So in today's session, I'll be showing you all what are the different uh, uh, ways, what are the different methods in which memory can be leaked in your application. Okay, so here I have written a sample application and I've uh, created multiple objects. I have a class bus which will have an integer which will have the details about the number of seats number of people total seats all these things so for now i will uh, launch i have launched this on my emulator and i have to start my profiler It takes a while to load. So we start getting all the details. For now, I'll minimize my uh, emulator. So we get CPU, memory, network, energy. I'm interested in memory. So I'll click on memory. We can see when the app was installed for the first time, all the resources will be allocated. So that is why we see highest memory being occupied. So it is. 154 MB after that I'm not interacting with my application so the memory uh, consumed by my application will reduce it is reduced to 30.9 MB and it is still because I'm not interacting with my application now what I will do I will uh, try to rotate my application to portrait and landscape continuously so here we can see a small increase in the memory so i'll continue to do this for a while so that there will be significant increase in the memory so we can see memory is increasing so here it was some 30 mb now it's increased to 37 mb so if i continue to do this the memory occupied by my application keeps increasing you can see the increase here right now it is reaching 40 MB. So why exactly memory is increasing when I'm rotating my device? That is because uh, when you rotate your device to portrait and landscape continuously, it causes app your application to leak activity object because system resources uh, system will recreate the activity okay so whenever you uh, rotate your screen what the android os will do it will recreate the activity for you if you all know the activity life cycle uh, what exactly happens is on destroy is called again on create will be called when every time you uh, rotate your device so system will recreate the activity for you and your app is still holding the reference of the previous activity a reference to those objects somewhere else so what system system can't garbage collect that because your application is already having a reference and again your system is creating another reference so this cannot be garbage collected and that is why your memory increases okay uh, so uh, now it has come to 37.2 MB. So this was one of the way to leak energy to come to know when your application occupies more uh, of the memory. So now I'll clicking on the home button, probably rotate it once. Okay, now I'm in the home screen. I'll, I try to launch different applications. I'll launch Chrome, then I launch Play Store, then I launch my application, object allocation, then I keep launching another applications. So 
so another method to leak your uh, memory is just uh, uh, keep changing between different applications so here i kept changing from the home screen i navigated to different applications and now i can see there is increase in memory slight increase in memory it depends on uh, in what uh, state your application is if it's in on create or if it's in on resume on pause different states so on based on your application uh, states and uh, how many times you are switching your memory increases now it is still so now what i will do i will try to add a, a while loop in my code So here I'm doing some calculations. I'm just uh, uh, getting the total number of seats in all the 10 bus objects. So here I'll just add a while loop, infinite loop, so that the continuously it will keep taking memory. So this is very bad programming practice. I'm just showing y'all uh, to uh, demonstrate how memory is, uh, memory is taken by your application. What are the different ways memory is leaked? So I'm running this on my emulator and I'll show you the profiler. So every time we do some changes and we run the app again, profiler will be restarted. So here you can see how the uh, memory is getting increased by your application, how your app is consuming more and more memory. So initially we were seeing it was very less. Now you can see the major part is taken by Java. So blue color one is Java and Java memory is the one if you can see this um, uh, different categories of memory, you can see other memories are still okay others code stack graphics native everything is constant the only memory that is changing is java why because continuously while loop is running and the calculation is happening it's trying to count the total number of seats so since this is an infinite loop uh, continuously your app is doing some work so that is why we can see java is occupying more memory from your application behalf so this is the spike which I wanted to show what happens in memory leak cases, what happens if you have a while loop. So in my next tutorial, I'll go uh, one step uh, deeper and I'll explain uh, from this uh, memory graph how to point out to which part of your code is leaking memory. So I hope uh, today whatever I explained uh, was informative and helpful. And I'll be waiting to see you all in my next tutorial where I'll be explaining a little more uh, deeper. So thanks everyone for watching. See you all in my next tutorial. Until then, please stay tuned. Take care. Bye.